What was the number? 136.98. A little high? Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna get to the car. I'll try to repeat everything the doctor said, but good guy and things look as good as they could pretty much, so. <clears throat> guys, not falling off the wagon just yet. So I'm gonna grub. It's about noon. I've got a physiology test at 5.15. And um, I'll talk to you guys after that. I'll see you after that. I've got to study for this test this week and finals next week, but things feel good. Could be worse. And uh, I'll talk about what just went down in a second. Alright guys, I hope you can see and hear me. We've got one shot of through in this video. It's about 7.15. Battery's on 8%. I just had to get home and charge it. I thought it was full, but it's not. So, anyways, this morning started out interesting at the doctor, which you guys saw. I went to see a back specialist because I've had back pain since that uh, 12 rep 405 session where at the time when I entered the gym, when we started deadlifting, they told us, hey, you can't drop the weights at all. So I went from training full concentrics and dropping the weights on the deadlifts to doing eccentric reps with really heavy working weight that I like to use. And I PR'd while doing all eccentrics. So long story short, a few hours after the gym, I left and I had some severe back inflammation and pain, which I thought was just gonna be muscle soreness. But the next day I woke up, tried to get out of bed and I knew something wasn't right. I've never had that severe muscle soreness and that was about 17 days ago I've pulled 405 since I've worked out hard since PR on bench and things are going good but the pain's just not going away because I've been lifting that heavy and putting stress on it so I did a little bit of research contacted um, a doctor that looked really awesome and let's just get right into it um, I was afraid it was a herniated or a bulge disc which if it were if it was I would assume I would have had some radiating leg pain but Overall, I feel great. I just feel a lot of soreness in the center of my lower back. And um, I told the doctor exactly what happened. And when I told him that um, during squatting, when I butt wink and there's flexion in my lower back, I can't really do that, but when I get flexion in my lower back, that I feel the pain when I'm doing that. And he said, okay, it's probably disrelated. So I kind of freaked out. And um, I thought, you know, when you herniate a disc, that you move the vertebrae or something like that, which I guess is possible. but. Basically what he told me is that the cartilage and the fluid and all the soft tissue in between the vertebrae is what I damaged, most likely. He doesn't need me to get an MRI or an x-ray. He told me to contact him if the pain gets worse, but he seemed pretty confident that I'm good to go. And I'm just gonna heal up as if it was a muscle strain or a pull, which is good news. Bad news that it's disrelated. That really scared me a lot. And um, I've been really stressed with finals. Thanksgiving week was kind of rough. And uh, dealing with the pain and trying to lift, to relieve stress has just caused me more stress so um anyways things in the gym have been going good other than the injury and what i want to do is just kind of bring some information and some knowledge to you guys that i learned from this doctor because he's very reputable i'm not going to say his name or the place i went to but basically if you guys have fucked your back up deadlifting or squatting and you know it's not muscular and it's lingering for several days um this is something new to me i didn't really know you could damage the um soft tissue in between your vertebrae I thought you either bulge a disc and it comes out or it doesn't and the doctor was like you're thinking of it the wrong way that's not an injury that you sustained what you've done is damaged maybe some fluid leaked out it's causing inflammation long story short the last couple things he said to me is there's nothing you're gonna do in the gym that we can't fix short term and uh, he just told me to get back to lifting, avoid the things that hurt, do pull-ups, train your upper body, and listen to your body, go swimming, stuff like that. So overall, really, really good news. Probably gonna not try to push gaining because I'm not gonna be deadlifting and squatting, but um, I've been lifting for 10 years, guys, and I know a lot of you guys are new to this, but a lot of you guys are in my boat too, and I'm not gonna try to hide this and just say I don't feel like deadlifting and squatting. I definitely injured my, fucked myself up. 
and I'm glad it's, you know, the best case of a worst case scenario, and it's something that he said I can come back from 100%. It's a normal injury to happen, and he wasn't worried at all, so I've been thinking about this all day. This was like 10 hours ago I went to the doctor, so I wish I was giving all the points across that I've thought of today, but lifting for me is kind of everything. It's why I went back to school to study science, because it interests me. It's what I do part-time for work. It's what I want to do full-time. I want to be a trainer. I want to start a business training, possibly maybe open up a gym or collaborate with somebody who's interested in doing that. Those are things I want to do in the future. Or when I'm done with school, graduate this year or in 2017, um, get some money, save some money, maybe go back for some higher education, but I can't stay in school. It's just not practical. I can't afford it. I can't just go to physical therapy school for two years or athletic training or whatever it might be. Um, I can't just stay in school. It's, uh, it's not feasible right now. And I know it isn't for a lot of you guys, so um, I was just really scared to find out or to think that, hey, I screwed up my spine. I can't lift, I can't train, I can't coach people, but this is something I'm gonna learn from and a lot of you guys need to learn from it too. Uh, you can deadlift with high frequency, you can squat with high frequency, but if you're hurting your back, if your form's off, if you're butt winking, if you're rounding your back on the deadlift, it will catch up to you. And it caught up to me because I was deadlifting 405 like several times a week. I feel like I did it like 10 days and like five or, or 10 times in like five weeks. And uh, I pushed it too hard, the eccentrics screwed me, so it's not something I promote doing. I don't think you should ever do them on a deadlift, but just to keep it real, um, I was really worried. It's the first injury I've had like this, and um, I will come back from it. Doctor said everything is good to go. I just gotta take something and learn from it, and I want you guys to learn from it too, so when you get lower back pain, it's never good. If you have even soreness in your lower back muscles, you're probably doing something wrong. So watch yourselves, guys. This isn't the end of whatever, maybe the end of the road to 2XX, but we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna try to cut or do anything like that. We'll keep things going. I've got tests this week. I just got out of one and finals next week. So maybe it's a blessing in disguise. I probably would have just kept pushing myself and kept pushing myself on low sleep with a lot of studying, high stress, and it could have been worse. I could have torn a muscle or who knows. So I'm just gonna take it as a blessing in disguise, learn from it, and um, hopefully this is informative to you guys because I did a lot of research where people were like, oh, I screwed my back up, I bulged this disc and herniated this, deadlifting, and I can't deadlift, or I went back and I screwed it up. If you guys feel pain, rest, rest, recover, don't take it lightly. And um, camera's about to run out of battery, maybe I'll touch on this again, but that's really all I can say right now, I'm exhausted. I went through my whole day with a little bit of back pain, but after sitting and studying all day, definitely has caught up to me and um, I hope you guys learn something from this. I hope we keep learning as I go forward and thanks for the support guys. Um, it's pretty much all I had to say. I'm just happy that uh, it was bad news but the best case of bad news so not gonna worry about it. Just gonna get better, get back to lifting soon which is what he cleared me for. He said I could do pull-ups, do upper body. I forgot if I said that. I like, ran the conversation through my head a hundred times today but it's definitely an interesting experience and um, get, your, get, get yourselves checked out if you're feeling that something's off guys because it's better to know the diagnosis and it's going to give you peace of mind and help you go forward. It was definitely an investment and I'm going to have to work and save to have made that and be okay but to me it's worth it and um, I'm glad that I'm bringing it out to you guys and hopefully it helps you guys out so don't end up like me, don't fuck your back. I'm fine but I'm only fine when I'm 100% and when I'm not, I always try to be. So let's get back, make some more gains and finish the semester strong. See you guys in the gym soon, hopefully. Deuces, thanks guys. Oh yeah, and I just want to give a special thanks to Nick Berg, Devin Palumbo, Tyler, and Brandon. Um, I spoke to all you guys today. I was texting and calling all of you guys this morning when I was freaking out, but um, I really would have lost my mind without you guys. So thanks for the support and uh, be careful, onward. I'm gonna go eat, cause I'm fucking starving.